The story of mankind's early history may have to be rewritten, thanks to a fossilized finger bone from an early modern human dating back around 88,000 years. Experts found the remains in the deserts of Saudi Arabia, suggesting that early migration out of Africa into Eurasia was more expansive than previously thought. It is the oldest directly dated Homo sapien fossil outside of the continent, or the Levant, the area around what is now Israel, Palestine and the Lebanon. The 3 cm long middle finger is around 20,000 years, older than the date from which modern humans were thought to have left Africa. Scientists from the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History, made the discovery at El Wasta, an ancient freshwater lake located in what is now the hyper-arid Nifa Desert. Numerous animal fossils, including those of hippopotamus and tiny freshwater snails were found at the site, as well as abundant stone tools made by humans. Among these finds was the well-preserved and small fossil, which was immediately recognized as a human finger bone. The bone was scanned in three dimensions and its shape compared to various other finger bones, both of recent Homo sapiens individuals, from other species of primates and other forms of early humans, such as Neanderthals. The results conclusively showed that the finger bone, the first ancient human fossil found in Arabia, belonged to our own species. Lead author Dr. Hug Rauchet, of the University of Oxford said, This discovery for the first time conclusively shows that early members of our species colonized an expansive region of Southwest Asia, and were not just restricted to the Levant. The ability of these early people to widely colonize this region casts doubt on long-held views, that early dispersals out of Africa, were localized and unsuccessful. This finger bone from El Wasta suggests Homo sapiens is moving out of Africa far earlier than 65,000 years ago, it's 20,000 years earlier than expected. While Homo sapiens bones dated to 177,000 years ago, have been found in a cave in Israel, evidence is scant for any further expansion anywhere beyond the coasts. The research suggests that the first Homo sapiens, may have entered Arabia by crossing the Red Sea, at a time when it was little more than a river. Experts used a technique called uranium series dating to make the discovery. A laser was used to make microscopic holes in the fossil, and measure the ratio between tiny traces of radioactive elements. These ratios revealed that the fossil was 88,000 years old. Other dates obtained from associated animals' fossils, and sediments converged to a date of approximately 90,000 years ago. Further environmental analyses, also revealed the site to have been a freshwater lake in an ancient grassland environment far removed from today's deserts. Prior to this discovery, it was thought that early dispersals into Eurasia were unsuccessful, and remained restricted to the Mediterranean forests of the Levant. On the doorstep of Africa the fossilized finger demonstrates that rather than just clinging to the coastline as they left Africa, they ventured into the interior of what is now Arabia. At this time, Arabia was humid and monsoonal crossed with rivers and dotted with hundreds of lakes. These old watering holes, long since having dried up, are expected to reveal many more insights as the region has not been extensively explored by archaeologists. Professor Michael Petroglia of the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History added, The Arabian Peninsula has long been considered to be far from the main stage of human evolution. This discovery firmly puts Arabia on the map as a key region for understanding our origins, and expansion to the rest of the world. As fieldwork carries on, we continue to make remarkable discoveries in Saudi Arabia. Donald Henry, professor of anthropology at Tulsa University, said in a commentary that the findings lend support that Homo sapiens did not just fan out across the Levant, but also across the Red Sea. He said, the most likely access to Arabia from Africa is near the southern end of the Red Sea, over the narrow Bab el Mandeb Strait. Interestingly, during many intervals of the late Pleistocene, lower sea levels would not only have narrowed the crossing to little more than a large river, they also would have exposed extensive areas of a shallow shelf, creating a fertile, lowland zone attractive to colonization by plants, animals and humans. The full findings of the study were published in the journal Nature Ecology and Evolution.